Hey, Connor. Cool. Yeah, so I think I found it. I think I found what you were referring to. Uh, so if I go here, something that's really neat is um, thinking about modularity with working with stuff and rearranging composability as if you're working with post-it notes or index cards. You could treat each spot in the grid like a drawing, of course. So we could just, of course, like rearrange it. Um, so we'll just switch the action reaction thing right here. Uh, just moving that down. And then we have that. Of course, <laughs> right now the um, the drawing component, I wonder uh, what from my side as a user I could do to kind of like limit its size or, or that kind of a stuff. This is kind of like my first time digging into like the CSS um, of Rome, other than, you know, using other people's stuff. Um, but yeah, if you could kind of make each spot in the grid fill, you could style it so that the bullet disappears or something. And then of course there's like the UI aspect that like, it'd be really nice if you could like pull this and like move it in this space. But then of course it like gets all wacky. So if we just wanted to switch the first one and the second one, what would we do that? Yeah, that works, <laughs> you know, a little clunky, but um, but it works, and I had to kind of make a little leap of faith there. I'm going to play around with the different um, span sizes and stuff, because it, as you mentioned, it'd be really interesting. You could like fill out grids if you could have kind of like a flexbox thing going on where things fill up based on the size of the image. Like, let's say, for example, my computer's running a little slow right now, but... Um, Let's just add an image. And like I said, <laughs> it's running slow, but um, let's see, what's an easy one that I have available? That's a screenshot. It's not very interesting, but it's probably cool. So there you go. So that's blowing up that space but it would be neat if we could um there we go do it like that and then let's say that's a flower and then right here there's a line of from a haiku um and that in this way you can do that kind of like modular composition so let's say you want this image last well that's <laughs> uh, let's put it right here and guess that And cool, it worked. <laughs> so we can kind of work in that way. Neat, cool. I find I hope you find this interesting. Uh, I want to figure out how to kind of make this work because it is really interesting. You can write kind of like visual essays. Just the organization of information in comics is like two dimension, like uh, the dimensions, like space is time in the reading you know what i mean so that's uh the interesting thing that you can do here but of course you could like import block reference different images you could have one drawing that you want to try out that kind of thing it's it's really really interesting and i think like rome could be a really really amazing uh tool for comics composition but of course comics thought of in a more broad lens more of a, like a visual